Hello and welcome to Excel Dashboard Templates.com. This is Steve True. Please visit my blog at Excel Dashboard Templates.com so that you're sure to get the latest charting techniques, tips, and tricks. Okay, today a user in an Excel forum wanted to do a time based Gantt chart, but it's not really a time based Gantt chart, it's just showing uh, information by day. So they wanted Sunday through Monday on the uh, vertical axis and then on the horizontal axis they wanted 0 through 24 and they wanted to show by hour uh, when work was being performed uh, throughout the day there could be several instances throughout the day so Tuesday uh, they worked from uh, the first three hours and they were off two hours and they worked the next four hours so on and so forth so how can you go about setting this up in Excel Okay, so recently I showed you how to make a basic Gantt chart in Excel. So make sure you go to my blog at excel templates.com and type in basic Gantt, G A N T T, in the search box and you can see all about that. But here's how I went about setting up the data for this time based Gantt chart. So we've got the first hour and we have Monday through Sunday down here on the left column in column A. Uh, so we've got the first hour. If they've worked it, it's a 1. If they haven't worked it, it's a 0. Now, what I want to do is if they haven't worked it, I have a formula over here. You can also do this by hand, and the formula would be something like this. Equals if b1, b2 equals 0, then let's put in a 1. Else, let's just put in a 0. And you can copy that down for all of the different fill values. Uh, and make your chart that way. So if you have a 1, they've worked it. Therefore, we don't need to actually create any more information for the first hour. Now, if they haven't worked it, we need to add a 1 in in this fill column, as I showed you in that basic Gantt chart video on uh, making sure that it populates in here, and we're going to set this to a no-fill type. So once you get your data set up for each hour, is going to have an alternate fill hour so there's two there's three and the three fill using that same formula if this is a one then put in a zero if it's a zero put in a one okay so once you've done that you want to highlight your entire data range so there's going to be about 48 columns 49 total with Monday through Sunday uh, so once you get that all set up highlight your data range go up to your insert menu go to the bar chart and we're going to do a stacked bar chart Okay, so let's uh, let's get that over to the left so that you can see what that looks like with the data itself. So, um, okay, so we built our basic Gantt chart. However, we need to do a few things before we continue. You can see zero through twenty-four here on the uh, horizontal side. Well, right now, you only see twenty-three, but it's going up to twenty-four because Excel is deciding how it wants to do the data. You can find out why Excel is doing this on my blog as well, but what we need to do is click in the chart, go up to our design ribbon. From our design ribbon you'll see a button that says switch rows and columns. And so we want to click that. Now it's looking a little bit more like what we want. We don't need the legend over here, um, but uh, I'm going to leave it for right now. And then our horizontal axis just isn't quite giving us what it wants because Excel pads in a little extra time in there and we only want it to go to 0 to 24 so let's right click on that do format access then we want to change the minimum to 0 and the maximum to 24 and click on close oops I forgot to do one other thing um, let's right click on that and do format access again for the horizontal access and let's change the major unit to 1 okay uh, looking a lot similar to what we wanted before. Um, you can see each series is plotted throughout there. Uh, one other thing I want to do is I want to move this up to the very top, being the horizontal axis. We do that by clicking on the vertical axis and right clicking on it and do format axis. And then let's do categories in reverse order that you see right here. Click on that and click on close. And uh, so we have Monday through Sunday. We have all of our data points um, throughout uh, uh, the time span. And now what we need to do is we need to go through and change each one of these columns uh, to either a the same fill color or a no fill color. Let's click on our first series here. You can see this one is the one column. 
and so we want that to be the blue. If I click on the next one, uh, I see I'm missing a few, but let's go back to the blue one. And then if I click on this red one down here, this is going to be the fill for number one. So see that? So that's going to push out all the rows to make sure everything's aligned. What I want to do here is right click on that one and do format data series. We're going to change the fill color to no fill. Let's see what that looks like. Ah, so you can see we've got uh, three different times here, Monday, Tuesday, and Friday. We're all for one hour only. Uh, and then what we need to do is continue this process for all of the other series. So if I click on this green one, this actually represents the two data point. I'm going to hit Control-1, which is like doing the format series, do the fill, solid fill, and then uh, uh, we'll pick that color that I think is that one right there is the same as the other one. Nope, not quite. Let's uh, let's change all of these fill colors for the blue ones to the same blue. So I, I've already picked the blue I like. I'm going to go back to that first one since it's just a shade off. And I'm going to change the fill color of that one to a solid fill for the blue. And we just need to continue this process. This one, as you see, is for a fill and not an actual series. So if I right click on it, do format data series, fill, no fill. We just keep can keep doing this for every single one of our data series. Solid fill, close. Fill, no fill. Just this one back here. Control one. Fill, no fill. I'm going to continue this process until we get to the very end. Uh, and the chart, as you can see, it's starting to build out what we want it to do. Fill, solid fill, close. one fill no fill and you can see over here in our legend the one is, is has a color the fill one has blank the two has the same color the fill two has blank and you just keep going all the way down I'm going to delete the legend so I've clicked on the legend and hit my delete key now you can see the Gantt chart starting to build out here's Friday spans for four hours uh, and then there is a gap so let me uh, go ahead and move it forward so that you can see what the final chart looks like. Okay, so here's the final chart. Looks like I missed one actual uh, color in here. It's just off one shade. Can fix that on my own later, but uh, you can see we've got what Colette wanted. Um, it's got a time-based uh, information, so they worked one hour, one hour, one hour, and then two-hour break, one hour. Uh, the folks on Tuesday worked for three hours, a two-hour break, then for four hours, then every other hour for a while. And so you can see how you can make your own time-based Gantt chart just using zeros and ones with a simple if formula. Make sure that the, you have a series for the amount when it actually does happen, and then you have an alternate series equal to one where it does not happen. Make these fill to no fill, and make these all the same color where they're actually the fill series. So every hour has two different series. Hope this helps you make your own time-based Gantt chart so that you can show how our, uh, time is worked throughout the day. Please visit my blog at excel-boardtemplates.com and please don't forget to sign up for my YouTube channel so that you get the next posting. Thank you.